What's up guys, Steven Bogren here from Pro Physique. Today I want to talk about dieting for events. So hey guys, hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. I don't know if you can hear that. That's my floor. Woo! So, dieting for events. Dieting for events. Why would you even talk about that, Stephen? Well, let me tell you why I want to talk about that. Reason being, because there's always an event. There's always something to diet for, right? I want to be really shredded for the Olympia. I want to be lean for my show. I want to be you know, in shape for this beach wedding that we have going on. I want to be in shape for this Mexico trip that we have going on, right? There's always something to diet for. There's always a reason. There's always a next event where the shirt's going to have to be off and the bathing suit's going to have to be on and we're like, man, I want to look good. I feel like I got people to impress. So, let's chat about it. Let's cheaty, cheaty chat about dieting for events. So, <clears throat> When you're talking about dieting for events, first and foremost, same as any other time, I think you really need to look at when was the last time you've dieted, how long have you had off from dieting, um, you know, how much body fat have you put on, slash taken off, how lean are you currently, all those fun factors, you know, that are going to impact how we kind of go about a diet in the first place. But we need to really, really look at, and first and foremost, this is my number one, how often are we dieting? How often are we always, are we dieting for events? Because if we are always dieting for events, we need to really look at that, right? Why do we feel the need that we need to always be leaner at every next event? Or why are we always dieting into an event and then putting on that weight again and just yo-yoing back and forth forever, right? We just end up in that weird middle ground where we're never really happy um, because, you know, we get to a place where we're happy and then we're back off, right? So if that's you, take some time away from it. There's always going to be another event, right? There's always going to be something else. There's always going to be another Christmas, another Thanksgiving, another summer. Um, you know, another wedding, another vacation, it, they repeat themselves, right? There's always another event. Um, there's always going to be another Olympia or another LA Fit Expo, whatever it might be that you're dieting for. That one event, I promise you, is not worth that yo-yoing, that, you know, detrimental to your health dieting lifestyle. Um, we already know that that's the hard part, you know. Yes, people can lose weight. It's keeping it off that's the hard part, right? Well, why is keeping it off the hard part? Because once we end a diet, we just end a diet. Um, so, you know, shameless plug for reverse dieting, right? Definitely something we want to be paying attention to. Definitely something that we want to make sure that we're putting the time in, right? If you guys don't know what reverse dieting is, we talk about it a ton. But essentially, it's you know slowly adding calories back in, slowly decreasing your cardio back down, paying attention to how your weight's responding, your hormones are responding, your body, your recovery, your stress levels, all those things while that's happening, and making sure that you're doing the right things to make sure that you keep as much weight off as possible. Yes, genetically, we're all kind of set to be at a weight, right? Like, I am genetically a skinny dude. I have a fast metabolism. I'm not, I don't carry a ton of body fat. It's super annoying for putting on weight, trust me. It, it sucks in its own right. Some people are on the other end of the spectrum, and they're you know, genetically predisposed to having a bit more body fat. And for them, getting the weight off and keeping the weight off is really, really tough, and it takes a lot of attention to detail, dedication, time, and lifestyle planning stuff. And for them, that's the hard part, right? So we want to make sure that you know we understand kind of where we're genetically at, and then plan appropriately for the work that we have to do for that reverse, right? Um, <clears throat> for some of us, it's going to have to be more conservative, right? Um, especially if you know we're coming from a place of fat loss and we're trying to maintain as much fat loss as possible. We're still not like any place where we're unhealthy amounts of lean. Now, if we're coming out of stage, we want to put on body fat, right? Different story. Reverse dieting. Woo! Um, however, that's one of the big things. So I think that if you're always dieting, you need to look at that. You need to probably take some time off from dieting and just give yourself time. Time. It, it, just like time supposedly heals all wounds, time can fix a lot of issues if we're utilizing it properly, right? Um, so we want to make sure that we're not only giving ourselves the opportunity to be successful, but we're giving ourselves the time that we need um, to really make sure that we're taking that opportunity and making the most out of it. So that's first and foremost. Uh, but remember, you don't have to diet for any specific thing. 
And I think that that's, that's a hard one, right? Because a lot of us, we get into that idea, that mindset like, hey, you know, if I'm not lean, you know, people are going to think less of me. They're going to think I'm, you know, for me, maybe they think I'm a, not as good of a coach. Uh, maybe they think I'm not as good of a bodybuilder or an athlete or whatever it might be. Um, and to be very honest and fair, for those of us in the fitness industry, guys, we have a very unrealistic expectation um, and skewed expectation of what lean is and, you know, uh, what healthy is and our ideals and standards for ourselves, myself included. Absolutely, yes. Um, so I'm like, oh man, I'm pretty lean. I'm like 10 pounds over stage weight. It's like, oh, Steven, that might not be the most healthy place for you to be, right? So not only do we want to talk about, you know, unhealthy on the end of the spectrum of too much body fat, unhealthy on the end of the spectrum is too low body fat if we're consistently dieting for events, right? Now, it's going to be, again, different for everybody. Genetically, we respond differently. But if you're sleep issues, water retention issues, recovery issues, hair falling out issues, like we see drastic changes with all these things. Sex drive, another one. So we'll see changes in those things as we become leaner um, and they can t give us an idea of what's going on. And that's what we like to call biofeedback. Biofeedback, right? So we wanna listen to the body in terms of what it's telling us for are we you know, in a place where we're healthy, where we're not healthy? Um, are the things that we're doing promoting our general health over time or are they hurting our general health over time? So making sure that we're paying attention to that in terms of our scheduling as well, right? At the end of the day, like I said, there's always going to be another fucking event. There's always gonna be another time when you're going to need to have the bathing suit on and maybe the shirt off and so I think what it really comes down to is understanding that our worth is not tied to how we look. It's not tied to our physical appearance. Um, but that we have so many other things that uh, provide worth and value in our lives <clears throat> besides that. And so I know it's very easy to get stuck on some of the more superficial things, but that's why I always encourage everybody to have a lot of different things that you invest yourself into. That way when one isn't working out, you still have all these other ones to find value and you know self-love and appreciation and all these other great things to do. So short video today, guys, that's it. That's all I got talking a little bit about. Stop dieting for every event. It's not necessary. You don't need to be shredded. If you're at the expo, most people aren't even going to, you know, they're not going to remember how shredded you were or weren't. Um, just the truth of the matter, guys. So don't feel a need that you have to try and diet for every single event. Pick some big ones. Pick some things that are important to you, right? If you're doing shows, those should probably be the ones that are important to you. Focus on the main things. Allow yourself to have healthy off-seasons to make progress, to grow, to be healthy, recover, live life, and do all the wonderful things that it entails. And that's it! That's my Tuesday day. <laughs>